So there is there's no formula. Yes, the bracing pattern helps to shape the sound. Right. You know. But it's never as simple as that. You know, if you want every single guitar to sound exceptional, you know, you, you have to uh, fine-tune every brace that's inside. The soundboard. So so basically you're like maximizing every piece of wood. Is it correct? Yes, the in potential. a way we are maximizing the potential of every single right. piece of wood. Because we I mean the wood is such a valuable resource. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, Why you would you stop at that that's it, right? You know, you would want to maximize yeah. the, the potential I mean, the, the, the wood is getting uh, so it's lesser and lesser. It's it, it's more and more difficult to to get really nice looking wood right. uh, these days. Yeah. You know, or even uh, sonically uh, possible but you know that's where I, I feel I mean we we should be responsible right. you know by by doing the best of what the wood can do right yeah so usually usually you do voicing beef uh, before the guitar even built right yes so what I do is uh, when uh, when the soundboard is uh, here I will do a carving okay. of course I will carve the braces All right. you know, uh, but that is just one part of the of the voicing process. The voicing process actually starts from selection of the raw material. I see. You know? So when I has I carved the bracing, that's so called the first step of how I actually uh, um, trying to adjust the energy flow in the system right. to make it optimal. What we have on the table right now it's a 2017 uh, a private collection, uh, the one that we actually heard earlier uh, during the demonstration. So uh, what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to put my hands in, I'm going to try to use what I have learned and what I have uh, um, known for the past few years uh, as I revoice uh, Maestro guitars. Uh, let's see what, how far we can bring this uh, new voice to, the, to this particular instrument. So let's try and see what we can get. Okay, I'm really excited for every to show everyone the end result right now. So right now we have Lino Hello. here to uh, do a demonstration on the guitar that I've just revoiced. So Lino, please do the honors. All right, my pleasure. Alright, uh, nice playing there by Lino. Thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> maybe you can uh, let us know, you know, what you what you think that the the, the changes I found, are. I found out the the bass. Oh man, the bass is like a grand piano. You see, there's a very very piano like quality in it. 
So previously, you can't really hear this uh, yeah, piano-like yeah, yeah. quality. It's right? just everything just enhanced. So yeah, so this is the reason why voicing is so important when it comes to the instrument. So this is a 2017 private collection Coco Bolo, and just now you have saw you know that I was uh, putting my hands in to trying to revoice the entire instrument to give it a sort of a new new life, a new soul into the instrument. Uh, so as evident, you can see the bass response is uh, enhanced. It's the definition is clearer. But there is a limitation. There is a limitation of how far um, a post-built um, voicing can be done. Um, nothing still beats the full control from choosing the raw material of the wood, and then slowly work, work my way through you know every single step until to the final voicing.